Hey my friends, what's going on? Kato here on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friends. So pound that for watching this video. Pow! So guys, in this video today, we're gonna be talking about Shopify, how to optimize your store real fast. You know, how to scale up real fast if you're just getting started. Like a lot of people ask me, yo, Kato, what's up, bro? Um, I've learned so much from your video. Appreciate all of you that watches my video. I will actually put the playlist for all my e-commerce Shopify video. You can actually check them out. But in this video today, guys, a lot of people have been asking me, yo, Cater, I'm getting in the game. I'm just getting started. What do you do when you first get a store and you have to compete with all those other stores that's online right now? As you know, a lot of people already have stores they're running. So how do you get the traffic? Because it gets crazy difficult um, when it comes to actually getting traffic to your brand new store. So in this video, I'll show you a strategy that can make you thousands to hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars if you apply it, right? We good? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please leave, leave a like, a comment, and a share. It's your boy. Let's get into it. And if you enjoy this content, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you can always be notified when I drop new content. So, you go hard, right? You go hard or you go home. You do. All right, guys, so with this strategy, when you start a brand new store, what you're gonna realize is that you don't have any pixel that's being fired on the store yet, okay? So the way to optimize your store a lot faster, what I do when I open up a brand new store, I focus, you bring this board so you guys can see. Maybe I could teach you guys a quick lesson that's gonna help big time, all right? So what I do on the first start, uh, let's do a scaling strategy. So a scaling strategy, so let's say I do, what I do, I do a video ads first, okay? You do a video ads. Video ad first, but my focus when I do my ads, a lot of people is fighting for the US traffic. So therefore your, your price, your cost per price. So let's say you get an item that other people are promoting and your cost per view is gonna skyrocket. So let's say we have this product that we wanna sell. On the first targeting, we're not gonna concentrate on the US at all. You wanna go worldwide traffic. So when you do your targeting, right? When you do your targeting, you wanna target worldwide. The reason you wanna target worldwide when you first targeting and your store is just open, it's because you're gonna be able to send a lot more traffic to your store and you break the competition. So competition, you lessen the competition, which also lessen the price per view. So your cost per view will be down. So now you're gonna get a lot more views for the same amount of price. But here's now, your focus in the beginning is to gather data. So when people go to your store, they go to your store, the pixel's gonna fire. Now you're gonna have enough data from the people that's coming to your store for you to create a lookalike audience a lot faster from the people who actually add to cart. Because remember, if you don't know worldwide, so when you don't know worldwide, um, if you're a video, now let's say you do a video ad. If your video is in English, I would highly recommend you um, definitely, when you put worldwide speaking language, you're gonna put English. So when you do put English, now you're only gonna get English speaking people. Let's say for example, right? Let's say for example, I wanted to sell this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be using this a lot. Move this a little bit. <clears throat> it's a green screen. actually fold it gets really big you see that that's <laughs> when you fold it it looks small but it's actually huge it's actually pretty big 
it can actually go behind my head and everything. But let's say I wanted to sell this green screen for people who's making videos, right? So I have an English commercial, right? I have a video, maybe a 60 second video, or two minutes, a one minute video, whatever. So this thing can be folded. It's pretty awesome. I can just fold it. So let's say you have a one minute video like this. Like, okay, if you're shooting green screen video, this is your solution. Okay, something like that at home. It has two sided, right? And then it can be folded real quick. So you get take the two edges, easy. I fold it and then boom. Now, this can be taken anywhere, right? There you go, you have a green screen at any way that you wanna create video. Um, you actually wanna use green screen, this is a portable one. You can do videos wherever. So this would be a one minute video for my ad, right? And then people will see the use of it. So now what I would do, instead of just targeting US for a product like this, what I would do in the beginning of my first ad, I will have one ad that actually go to worldwide English speaking countries, age 18 to 55, male and female, okay? And then I'll set my target whether it's gonna be videographic or YouTube or videos or whatever, you know, video makers. And then from the results that I'd be getting, I would get from the people who's actually going to my site. My pixel will start getting fired because people start going on there and I'm paying much less for the views that I'm getting, for the people that's going there because I'm worldwide versus a lot of people who would try only to get the US. So now I'm, com I'm competing with everyone that's doing US target. So now therefore I'm paying straight up high price in the beginning just for my views. Now you can cut out the high price per view until you get to the second stage, which is where you're gonna scale up from the data that you got. So that's gonna enable your picture to fire a lot faster. So for $5, $10, I'll get 10 times the people going to my website. So from there, if the people seen the ads and they click on the website, they're more likely interested in the product then that's a really great lookalike audience for my ad to card or even people that's been on the website. So now I will create a second set of ad that's gonna go to the people who look alike audience to the people who actually came to my website. That's gonna enable you to get traffic a lot faster, to season your pixel a lot faster, and to get your store in the game a lot faster, guys. So you might say, hey, Kato, why do I wanna target that way? Well, the sixth reason why this targeting is so broad that um, it's gonna enable you to get data a lot faster. So reason number one, it's because the competition is gonna be low. So you're not gonna be fighting for everybody with the US traffic. Remember, your store is just getting started. You want it to get traffic. So the lesser you can pay for the traffic, the better that is gonna be for you, but with a short-term strategy, not long-term because you want Facebook and your Shopify store to get acquainted with people coming to your store, to your site. So that's that's gonna be number one, right? The number two reason is because it's gonna be a lower cost per view. So you're gonna pay a lot less than other people will be paying. So you would see that your cost per views, usually most people have is one cent, but yours would be zero, zero, you know, in the zeros, which will bring a lot more results for the same amount of income that you would be paying. So reason number three is because you're gonna have a higher target volume. So with doing things worldwide, you're not just limited to the US or Canada. You're gonna have a lot more people. You can have millions of people. So therefore, you're gonna have a faster delivery, you know? So number four is a faster delivery. So a lot more people will start seeing your ads, which will bring down the price and also get a lot more people going to your website. And number five is gonna be a quicker season pixel, which is what you want at the end. You're gonna have your pixel season a lot faster. You know, a lot of people ask me, yo, Cater, you know, why is it taking so long for me to start seeing results? It's because Facebook, when your, see, your, when your pixel is not seasoned yet, people haven't been to your store, they haven't gathered enough data to know exactly who they need to send you. So therefore, or oh, what type of people, what do people do when they go on your website? Do they purchase? You know, Do they just view your content? And what type of people is actually going to the product that you're trying to sell? So therefore, you wanna have that seasoned pixel at the end that's gonna 
enable you to do that. And then number six is gonna enable you to get faster data for optimization, which is the next step. Because once you have the data, that's when you're gonna be able to optimize you know, from there because then you can create a new set of ads that go directly to nothing but the lookalike audience, which can be you know, lookalike 1%, 2%, all the way up to 10%, which will give you a much uh, much more volume, but based on the people who either took action, who either add to card. So you already know they speaking English, they took action, they add to card, so now you can create volume. And then now if you have a product that's winning, you can go in the back end and create just a campaign just for the US, if that's gonna be your, your, your direct market or your target market, the US and the Canada, in Canada. But, you know, like a product like this that I showed you earlier, it could be something that could be easily sold, um, sold worldwide. So that shouldn't be a problem for you at all to implement this strategy and start seeing massive results with it. All right, guys. So I hope you appreciate this value. Let's get it. So this is my number one tip for you, for those of you who's just getting started, you trying to get the stuff to the next level, guys. I mean, it takes time. Don't get me wrong. But if you do that, once you get started, it'll cut the time period shorter for you and you start getting seeing results a lot faster and take your game to a whole next level a lot faster. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this tip. Is it help? Are you gonna use it? Are you gonna test it to see the results that you get? Also, let your boy know how things are going for you. Always your boy, Cater. Appreciate you guys. Um, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys later. Pound that. So pound out for watching this video. Pound! Pound!